Hi Capricorn, welcome back. Welcome to any new viewers. I am Simone, the Moon Goddess. This is your reading for the month of June. So this is your overall reading for love and for money. This will be for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. So check your other signs, check the other videos so you can get a more well-rounded idea of what's happening for June. As always, this is a general reading. So you take what messages resonate and you leave the rest, okay? So, um, anybody interested in a personal reading with me, all of my details are in the description box below. Follow me on Instagram, the moon goddess tarot. Um, anybody interested in donating to my channel, I've been asked. So all of my details are in the description box below. So Capricorn, let's see what's going on for you for the month of June. So we're starting with money. Um, I believe this will be one video two videos put together to make one. I will put a timestamp for your love reading so you can skip ahead if you want. Um, but yeah, we'll start with money. So what's going on for Capricorn for the month of June when it comes to their money? What's the energy surrounding Capricorn for their money for the month of June? What are the messages you wanna share with Capricorn as far as their money for the month of June? Okay, let's go. What's the energy surrounding Capricorn for money for the month of June? What's the message you want to share for Capricorn for the month of June for their money? Okay, it's regeneration re reversed. Okay, this is it, right? So this is about new life. This is about rebirth. You know, regeneration reverses like what are you, what needs to happen in order for new life to flow in when it comes to your money? Maybe there's still some work to be done, you know, maybe there's still some um, behind the scenes things flowing together so that you can see this new path that you're looking to receive as far as your money. Why is here at the bottom of the deck is asking you to question your motivations. You know, are you what are you, what's pushing you to get this money? What's pushing you to to attract this money? What's pushing you to invest? You know? Chop wood reverse. This has showed up so many times since I started doing these readings. Um, and I've actually not checked to see exactly. Changing the wind. Okay, so you guys are in transition as far as your money goes. All right, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. It's just like, this is why you're being asked to question your motivations, your motives behind why you want this money, why, what makes you go after money, what, draws you to you know spend money on certain things and all these kind of questions chop wood reverse let me look into it 42 reversed 42 because it's popped up so many times since i started doing these month readings so 42 reverse is saying are you an armchair astronaut do you dream of wealth and fame big ideas inventions or desires with a capital d the appearance of this card is a sign that you might be devoting far too much time to dreaming and talking about your dreams. You have to get out of the chair to make things happen. You actually have to do something. Start with a small task. Remember the big dream becomes reality only after you've begun to take incremental steps. That doesn't sound like Capricorn, to be honest. But hey, we all go through our different phases, right? So regeneration reverse, it says endings come in many forms and now is the time to start holding on to what must die so that something better can take its place. Nature cycles include disease, decay, death and regeneration. Let whatever isn't working in your life die. Don't be afraid to face the facts. There is no need to struggle or grieve. Every, whatever your query, let it go. You're about to be reborn. So something new coming in, I guess that's why you're questioning your motives. Maybe you're all looking to like start a new job. Maybe looking to quit an old job. You know, it's no longer fulfilling you. Or, you know, you want to go after your passions, your dreams, your truths. You know, what you're worth. Maybe you're not being paid enough. There's lots of questions here for you, um, Capricorn. So let's look into this. What's going on with Capricorn for their money? In the month of June, what are the messages you want to share with Capricorn as far as their money goes in the month of June? 
Taurus when on Capricorn with the messages for Capricorn for the month of June. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter for the month of June for their money. Okay, the Fool. So you're all on a new journey. That's basically what it is. Total recalibration. This is the beginning. This is zero. This is the beginning of the journey. And that's exactly what this regeneration reverse is saying. Let what's not working die away so new life could come forward. And here it is. New journey. So that's really interesting. Well, bottom of the deck, judgment. So you all, something happened in your life where it triggered this change. You're all heeding a message that's being, um, maybe you're hearing the same thing over and over from people in your life or through dreams or synchronicities of some sort, or just your soul self telling you something's not balanced in your life or something isn't working the way how it's worked before and it has to change. You have the universe here reverse. This is a card associated with Saturn and you guys are ruled by Saturn. So y'all in transition because it's like reverse. So something's not quite completed, not quite ended or come full circle. Um, you got King of Cups here. So I feel like y'all want to feel fulfilled. However, you're attracting your money. You want it to be. You want it to align with your truth in all manners, in all manner of ways. Um, maybe heading more towards a spiritual way of living as opposed to only seeing this 3D realm, you know, maybe connecting more to your spirituality in order to make your man your material world manifest even faster. Um, down the middle is five of pentacles reverse. So wherever y'all have been going through a difficult time as far as your money or finances, whatever changes you might have been contemplating or have, or going through, literally going through, you quite coming through on the other side. Okay, so the reason for all that you're going through is going to make sense. It's going, the message is going to come to you if it hasn't already, or your understanding of it is going to come to you if it hasn't already. Under that five of pentacles is ten of pentacles, which is about wealth, as it says here. Um, wealth, family, generational wealth, family, you know, and wow. So between, so okay, so basically... You had your five of pentacles down the middle of the deck. When I cracked the deck open in half, this is what I saw at the, t um, at the top. Underneath that is this ten of pentacles. On top of the five of pentacles was actually the ace of pentacles. Okay? So, and this five of pentacles reverse is about coming out of a difficult dark time into a new light. Realizing that it was a transition and now you're starting to see beautiful things come to you. And on either side is the beginning of the pentacles. This is the start. This is the gift. You know, the initial opportunity or offering. And this is what you work towards. The ten of pentacles. That's absolutely beautiful. I love it. Wow. Okay, Capricorn. Sorry, let me pull out that. Um, five of pentacles reverse. And actually, let me pull out these two because that's beautiful. All right. So why is the fool here for, for Capricorn for their money? Why is the fool here? Eight of swords. Interference. So you all felt trapped in some way when uh, how you were trapped in your money. Something felt... Like you were being manipulated or being like, um, your strings were being pulled. And there's a sense of interference as well. So I don't know if what you were doing to attract your money was interfering with your life. Or somebody in your life was interfering with how you were attracting your money. But whatever happened, you looking to like start a new path because of what's been pulling here. Maybe it's the cosmos pulling your strings and making you realize, hang on, there is so much you're missing out on life because of how you're attracting your money. Um, bottom of the deck is four of wands, which is, you see, stirring you in the right direction. Like when it's reversed, I feel like you were taking a step back in order to make a massive step forward. And it will all make sense as you go along. Top of the deck is Ace of Cups, Ashe. 
So it's, it's like where you're headed towards now with your money. Okay, what where once you let this die away, remember, you're letting the old things die away so new life can come in. Once you do, you will find that you will feel so much more balance in your emotions. So you feel that you're flowing with life as opposed to against it. You feel aligned. You, you feel fulfilled. It's like you're following your passions. Let go of what is no longer serving you. Let go of the weight. Wow. Why is this judgment card here for um, Capricorn and their money? Why is the judgment card here? Okay. So seven of swords. Futility. Yeah, I feel like y'all realize that how y'all were living. You felt like you were going around in circles. You got nine of cups here. And death under that. Felt that y'all were, felt as if y'all were going around in circles. When really and truly this is what you want to feel. You want to feel this joy and happiness in your life. In all aspects of your life, you know. Um, so that life can f come through. And it's so beautiful that death card. This is the death card here. Which is equivalent to this regeneration. Okay, your death card is upright. Whilst regeneration is reversed. You're holding on to something here. But here, there is a, ch a chance for life to come through. Fulfillment. Joy. Real connections. Just by realizing that how you were living was a bit futile and um, was not really offering you what you wanted. That's the message, I reckon. Okay, why is this king of... Top of the deck is queen of cups, reversed. So yeah, I feel they all weren't happy. Why is the king of cups here for... Capricorn and their money. Why is it <laughs> Queen of Cups? So there's a cup, there's couple energy here. So I don't know if your money and your love life was connected in some way. Maybe it was affecting your love life, and that's why you've decided to make changes. Maybe because remember I was saying that I felt as if this was maybe your job interfering with your 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 money. How you're attracting your money. I know you want to start on a new path. Well, there's this king and queen of cups. So this is beautiful intuition. This is love as well. This is flowing. This is, might not necessarily be love of another person. It might just be love of what you do. Or feeling really emotionally balanced within yourself. Because you're following your truth, your passions. You know, not just making money. Not just attracting money to pay a bill but attracting money by doing something that you love to do and it's fulfilling you you know um, whether it's charity work or whatever it is but look at that master of the domain of your emotions and she is like this is your intuition here you know and like I was saying I feel like y'all going more towards a spiritual path so you're trusting your intuition as well. That's guiding you towards this new life when it comes to your money. And again, some of you, it might be that your money or your love situation is tied in in some ways. Ace of Cups at the bottom of the deck, Capricorn. So yes, this is a couple. This is a couple. Couple and money. So y'all loving each other, making money together, doing things y'all love together. Maybe you just feel fulfilled. Maybe this, maybe this is your cup of money and this is how you feel on both sides. But I'm thinking it's a couple, it's couple, couple um, energies. Because when you look at it here, you think of this Ten of Pentacles. This couple is here as well, isn't it? So it might be that your money... How you attract your money and your love tie in together. That is well. What's the final word of advice for 
Capricorn. So you have the hangman, you have the tower reversed. So I feel like right now this is you, Capricorn, just not moving, not making any decisions, not choosing left or right, just sit, just maybe observing, maybe whatever you need to let go of, it's not the easiest thing. So there's a lot of like mulling over, no Capricorns. Y'all are very um, methodical when it comes to making y'all's decisions, etc. They have the tower reverse there. So whatever change is happening is not a huge, it's not as dramatic as you might think it will be. And there will be a change, but it's not like the entire structure coming down. It might just be that certain parts need to be like refined and, and you know, do a little bit of um, fix up work here a little you know set up the scaffold and fix this section and fix this section and maybe you know make sure tweaking here and there type of vibe when it comes to your money wow we top of the deck is eight of cups reverse so yeah i don't feel like you're walking away completely from how you attract your money but definitely bringing some changes in definitely bringing in some changes much needed changes as well and this is you know i just can't i cannot get over this this is just this is blowing my mind it's just blowing my mind king and queen of cups and then ace of cups Whew, capricorn drop a comment below let me know how this resonates with you if it does let me know what's happening with you and this is intriguing and this card here as well wealth like i was saying this is generational wealth this is legacy this is and that along with the ace so the beginning and the end so wow don't worry about what you think you've lost right now you got four of pentacles at the bottom so you are being pulled into a restructuring and it's going to give you that sense of real power when you allow what needs to fall away to fall away. All right. Is there. But I feel like y'all making that decision. Because you got this four of swords in this reverse. So you might be in a position now to like make things happen. Okay. Any other message for Capricorn when it comes to their money? Any, okay. So you got the chart reversed. So yeah, how you've been doing things has to change, um, Capricorn. There's no movement. That's the other thing, like, stop dragging your feet on making those changes and stop dragging your feet on um, whatever needs to be cleared out so that the changes can flow in. Two of cups at the bottom of the deck. Well, Capricorn. And this... Actually, when I was looking at this Ten of Pentacles, I was thinking it's not just a love that works emotionally, but it's a love that works as a business as well. And I was thinking about this card, this Two of Cups, because this is that, the type of love that you can also work together in a business. This person inspires you, you inspire them. It's a real beautiful connection. And here it is. So Capricorn... Please, please, please drop a comment below because I'm thinking you're loving your money tight Let me know how Wheel of Fortune is here. So you're all in the flow of things. Four of Pentacles is here, yeah, again. And it's leading you towards the structures that you like. You know, you all like to feel stable and, so, and secure, just like any other earth sign. I'm Virgo, so I understand that. All right, let's see what's happening one more card and then we'll wrap up this and then move on to, to love what's happening for capricorn with their money for the month of june money for the month of june for the sign of capricorn okay you and your loved ones are safe cancer this is um water energy here again so i don't know y'all dealing with a cancerian because the chariot is here and this is sign, the the card associated with cancer as well um i don't know if a cancerian is influencing your money 
Confidence is the key to your success. New moon in Leo, bottom. Meditate and contemplate. New moon in Pisces at the top. And full moon in Pisces down the middle. Balance, spirituality and practicality. You know, I did mention this where I said to you, I feel like you're all, for this King of Cups, I feel like you're all moving away from seeing this world as just such a mundane 3D to realizing that there's so much more, so many more levels. And spirituality is a way to tap into that. New moon in Cancer. It says, make sure you put family first. That's the first message. Second, let someone get a bit closer to you. A new cycle is starting for your child or children. These are potential meanings. It's time to review your goals. Have they changed? Remember the oracle said to ask yourself why. Meditation will help you banish your insecurities. And spending time near water will bring you peace and answers. Oh <gasps> my gosh. Capricorn. Spending time by water. All of this. So you got new moon and cancer. You got king of cups, queen of cups, ace of cups, all water, all connected to cancer. Could be Pisces, could be Scorpio, but I feel this is cancerian energy here. And this shows up, new moon and cancer, which asks you to go near water. You got your two of cups, which is again water energy. And you have your chariot, which is cancerian energy. So I don't know what's going on with you and Cancer, but y'all seem to be coming together to build a business together, to attract money together. Maybe Capricorn, your work ethic, your work, work, work has um, blocked some kind of connection with a love. That's a water sign. I don't know, maybe y'all flow, flow together, I don't know. Drop a comment below and let me know what's happening with you, Capricorn, okay? So I'm gonna... All right, Capricorn, so this is your, your love for june okay your love reading for june let's go where are the energy surrounding capricorn for love for the month of june okay two one card at a time please what's the energies for capricorn for the month of june when it comes to love okay let's go let's go let's go what's the energy surrounding capricorn for the month of june when it comes to their love okay Time to go reversed. Okay, it's reversed. Let me see. Is it focused? Yeah. So it's reversed. Let's see. I never remember these oracles. So it says, even if it appears that you've reached the end of the line and all is lost, it isn't. You're in a situation that will resurface again later. So consider this a break rather than an ending. Destiny is in charge here. You lose nothing and gain everything when you surrender to that fact. Your soul knows that your destiny is unfolding with perfect timing and synchronicity. Your small self has doubts, but that is natural as it doesn't have the map of your destiny. The soul does. Spirit loves you. Trust that. Well, and at the bottom is poised reverse. Okay, so when it comes to your love, I don't know if something's happened. Maybe there's a separation. Maybe for some of you singles, you feel like um, something beautiful won't ever come for you or manifest for you. For those who are estranged, it's saying that it's not the end of the line. Um, for those in relationships who might be experiencing difficulties, again, it's not the end of the line. It's another transition. So don't lose sight of yourself don't lose sight of your balance okay don't lose sight of your grounding stay grounded because you got poised here reverse you know poise is being all you know like the swan is floating on the waters underneath but floating on gliding on, on the surface of the water so at the moment i feel poise reverse is you you know, with inside, because Capricorn is all, everything is inside. New life reversed underneath that. Like, you got to know, trust the process. See, one, the tribe is at the top, but it's reversed. Okay, so this is it, all right? It's like connecting to your, your tribe message in a bottle. 
what messages are you receiving that you might not be paying attention to heeding did this come up for you in your money maybe it was sagittarius um yeah time to go reverse so let's look at what's happening let's go deeper any messages for capricorn when it comes to their love for the month of june what do you want me to share with capricorn for their love for june capricorn sun moon rising venus jupiter signs what are the messages you want me to share with capricorn for the month of june when it comes to their love got a king of cups here showing up two of cups here showing up already at the bottom where are the messages for and here's your card here at the bottom the devil um what's the messages for capricorn for the month of june for this for love this is so. king of cups is adamant the ace of cups is here oh, capricorn I don't know, something big going on or circulating around you. Okay, nice clear messages for Capricorn for love. What's the message you want to share with Capricorn for the month of May when it comes to their love? What's going on with Capricorn when it comes to their love? Okay, too many. Too many too many so it's uh death reverse you got two of sword reverse and you got the hangman reverse it's too many messages too many messages one at a time please okay 444 what's the messages for love for capricorn okay the empress reversed so you all feeling less than loved up at the minute Okay, because this card is associated with Venus energies. This card is associated with Earth as well. You see how abundant this is? She's like blooming. She's pregnant, actually. It's like fertility. It's connected to the Earth. It's money. It's good life. It's creativity. It's like bursting forth, blooming. It's like spring energies, you know? Right now, it's reversed. Here's your card, the devil. Card associated with Capricorn. Um, the chariot reverse is here. This is associated with cancer. So I don't know if y'all connected to a cancerian. And that's what the issue is that right now, things are not great or seem not to be great between y'all. And, um, judgment card down the middle. And you're waiting for the call really you're waiting for divine timing to come in and say okay now y'all can move forward together so you got cancerian card here the chart reverse which is going in the wrong direction or something's blocked some no kind of movement but it's also associated with cancer um major card you have four major cards on the table as it is so this is deep spiritual um influences this is an external influences okay all four of your cards are major cards you got the empress you got the devil which show which is your card card associated with capricorn you might be feeling um there's a darkness that you're not comfortable with for whatever reason that you might not want to face there are aspects within you too that you might not want to face because at the end of the day, we are the devil. Like we talk about the devil, but we're the devil because we're the ones holding ourselves back with our um, self-limiting beliefs, our negative thought patterns, our self-sabotaging um, inner dialogues, you know, that kind of vibe. So um, the moon is at the bottom of the deck, moon reversed. When it's reversed, though, I don't feel like it's, I feel like, again, it's you realizing that there is, within the darkness, our fears get in the way and create this world that doesn't actually exist until we create it with our mind, actually. All right. What is the Empress here for? Capricorn. Prince of Pentacles. So... It's like you're observing love or the breakdown of love, I feel. 
it's like the Prince of Pentacles. This is a dude, Knight of Pentacles, observing, very grounded, very balanced, just like waiting to see, patient, methodical. Okay, so I feel like you are observing love or observing your feelings when it comes to love. Um, Ten of Pentacles at the top. So it's here again. It's a solid type of love as well. It's grounded and it's rooted. And it's connected to wealth. So it's like legacy. Why is the chariot here for Capricorn for their love? Why is the chariot here? Make him, okay, these two cards want to come out. All right, so Prince of Cups and Ace of Swords. All right, so where you might have, where there's no movement, or this could be a Cancer and energy you're working with, but where there's no movement, where things seem to be blocked or stuck, um, some action needs to happen, some dialogue, some conversation, because this Prince of Cups, this is about, and it's interesting that cups are short here to clarify the chariot. And chariot is cancer and cancer is a water sign. And this is a card associated with water signs. This might be Scorpio, Pisces or Cancerian energies. This knight of cups or prince of cups is like coming in, showing you love. Okay. Um, teaching you something about love. Bringing a message about love. The ace of swords is a doorway being presented to you to have a dialogue, a dis, a dis, uh, um, a open, clear, frank conversation has to happen for this chariot to move forward. Remember, it, the Oracle said it's not the end, it's just a break. So right now it's like, if you have something to tell this person about how you feel about them, the door is open for this conversation to happen, okay? The Ace of Swords is just that. Or maybe this person is going to come to you with the message to say, well, this is how I feel. And it will be the difference in making this chariot from going from reverse to upright, where things start to move forward. Capricorn, drop a comment below. Let me know about what's going on with you. Your love. <laughs> Five of Wands here. Some strife. So I don't know if there's oh external influences here as well. And then the swords reverse. You got the moon reverse here again. So it might be your affairs, your inner fears. You might be functioning for your moon sign as well. Um, if you know your moon sign, chat out video, you might be your fears might be coming from your moon. Your moon energies is your instinct, you know, your instinctual behaviors, things that you feel comfortable, that keep, make you feel comfortable, you know? So look into that. Why is the devil here for Capricorn for love? Why is the devil here for Capricorn for love? Why is, the Cap Why is the devil here for Capricorn for the love in the month of June? All right, two cards. Okay, so the devil, what's, what has you trapped is heartache and heartbreak, maybe from a past situation. You got three of swords here. So you were hurt in some way. I don't know if this person that you're with or your ex or whoever this break is with, they hurt you. And it could be coming from past memories as well you got your king of swords reversed so i feel like with this king of swords it's like lack of clear thoughts um you can't really see the tree delete the trees from you know separate the whatever the saying is forest trees leaves set me up. you know what i mean you can't really see everything logically or from a, a, a neutral standpoint because you're so very much caught up in how you feel so you have your devil which is your card okay and look at these two people like they're not trapped by the devil they're trapped by themselves by holding on to each other too tight by not allowing some air into this this space by not facing the, their hurts and their darkness by not accepting their hurts and their darkness um by not seeing the gift by the hurts and the darkness 
they're not healing more or less, you know, trapping themselves in their own thoughts. You have this King of Swords reversed, which is very much about not having clear thoughts, maybe not even communicating, being isolated, um, maybe even stubborn in your own thoughts, like in your in the way how you do things, how you see things. And it's all coming from this sense of heartbreak, heartache, you know, and this might be either the person might have hurt you or how you feel they might have hurt you. They, you might have hurt them. Or it could even be just you having this battle within yourself and you're hurting yourself because you're afraid of where you would go, where this is leading you. You're afraid of being hurt again because you're basing your behaviors on something from your past or maybe even within the relationship as it is but there is a there is conversation here there's a door okay the universe is presenting you with a frank conversation you got the lovers reverse at the bottom of the deck so this is a definite deep soul connection here love this is a gem this is gemini energies you have quite a lot of swords so i don't know some of you might be dealing with a gemini it's reversed so it's like out of balance all right out of balance is like these two people not ho holding on to each other so tightly they can't even separate enough to look at each other because they're holding on to each other for their life so whilst the lovers upright is like they're holding on to each other but they can they're facing each other it's a it's a productive, healthy connection. Reverse is like something's out of balance here. All right. And under that is death reversed. So it's like, it's not a whole death that's happening. It's just a reshuffle. But you got to let your, your demons, your devils die. You know, let up all that, your, your, um, your pains, your hurts your heartaches let all that come up so you can heal so you can soar like the phoenix together you might need some grounding as well you got the hierophant reversed this taurus energy you might need to be grounded a bit more look at life in an unconventional way look at things outside of how you see things as well you have the moon here again reversed So things aren't really not as scary as you think they are. You got justice. So you in the flow of things and how life is. Remember the card said that the cosmos, everything is about divine timing. So however things are appearing in your life as far as your love right now is balanced. Okay, it's, it's divine. Um, even if it doesn't feel that way, King of Pentacles here, I know y'all want to be in control of your domain and your space and how things happen in your life, but you need to, re you need to, um, surrender to this. Why is judgment here for Capricorn for their love? Okay. Five of cups reversed. All right. So the message is that as much as you might think that these three cups have been lost, you still have two cups next to you. Can you see? Okay. And the message is basically that. Look at how much you have. Look at how much you still have. You know, you, are, you haven't lost anything. It's like your relationship has been elevated. Okay. So sometimes you have to go back to come forward. And it's not like you just going around in circles. You're actually, it's a spiral. Okay, I often use this, this analogy. I often use this example. It's a spiral. That's what this oracle is saying to you. Time to go reversed. That is a spiral. Oh, beautiful. Bottom of the deck is Ace of Pentacles. All right, so this showed up for your money and this showed up for your love. So what you feel was a loss is actually a gain because it means that whatever was stirred up had to happen in order for it to expand you know that's relationships real relationships nothing is perfect 
of course things happen and you go your separate ways because it won't work but those relationships you see that are solid and strong and have been going on for however long they have had these situations happen so many times where it's like it's a spiral okay so it's not a straight line it's a lot of healthy though healthy there's a difference understand understand what i'm saying there's a difference between going back and forth and around and around in an unhealthy relationship and a healthy one there's a massive difference and you'd know know the difference and this is a pentacle tells me it's healthy because there's growth ashe ace of cups listen capricorn y'all make me blow my head <laughs> You got Ace of Pentacles and Ace of Cups. Ashe. So it's like love, nurturing, it's happiness, it's joy, it's soft, it's flowing, it's money, it's success, it's health, it's joy, it's children, it's joy, it's all of that, all mixed up together. Money, and so you remember I was saying that I feel like your money and your love situation come together. Like maybe you and your love will work together and build a, a business together of some sort. And here it is showing again. This is the beginning stages of that. Oh, Lord, 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 Capricorn. Capricorn, the fool, Ashe. So you're all on a new journey in money and in love. All right, I think I'm going to stop there for now. I'm going to check in again mid-month to see what's happening with your love, as I will with your money. Um, yeah, step back and watch the fireworks fly. I, yeah, I'm excited for y'all. I really am. Okay. What's happening with Capricorn with their love situation for Joan? Okay. Expect powerful change. I told you. 2020. Expect powerful change. Don't let your past hold you back. Remember I said to you, this three of swords might be your memories, your old memories coming back up to the surface, holding you back, trapping you. Wow, wow, okay. Don't let your past hold you back. I love it. Meditate and contemplate. And it's time to take action. Whatever that means to you. All right, let me read Expect Powerful Change quickly. New Moon Eclipse. can't find it oh right here in my face okay 94 all right so attuned to the moon it says never mind the past life evolves every single day beautiful additional meanings yes yes a, th a thousand times yes it says you're being shunted towards your life purpose whatever is happening now is happening for your highest good and this is an important turning point in your life Listen, Capricorn, honestly, how could it not be with these two at the end for your love for June? Big things coming. Ashe. I am so excited for you, Capricorn. So that's your message for love for June. Um, drop a comment below. Let me know if the messages have resonated. And Capricorn, until next video, big love to you. Take care. Bye.